So it is definitely no surprise that due to the critical and commercial success of The Last of Us that Naughty Dog would absolutely be working on The Last of Us 2. As such, today during the State of Play, they announced a release date for the game as well as four separate editions. The first is the standard edition, which comes with the game, uh, an exclusive avatar if you um, pre-order digitally. It also comes with some pre-order bonuses in the way of an ammo upgrade and a crafting training manual. If you want to spend $10 more, you can pick up the special edition, which includes a steel book and a mini art book from Dark Horse, as well as the other collector edition contents that I mentioned, including uh, the, the two bonuses there, as well as a dynamic theme and some PlayStation Network avatars. Next is the collector edition. This is where it starts to get a little more expensive. This will set you back about $160. Keep in mind, um, this was just announced. I promise you guys this will sell out. This will sell out, absolutely. Um, the Last of Us uh, collector's edition includes everything that I mentioned before, including a digital soundtrack, as well as some collectibles, including a bracelet from Ellie from the game, a lithograph, print and a thank you letter, a set of stickers, a set of six enamel pins, and the 12 inch Ellie statue. I will critique the statue on the next collector edition, which is the ultimate edition known as the Ellie edition. This will set you back $250, includes everything I mentioned before, as well as a vinyl uh, soundtrack featuring music from the game as well as a Ellie backpack and logo patch. So if you are a collector, you're definitely going to be in the um, collector edition range or in the Ellie edition if you are a fan of a little bit more stuff. Again, this will set you back $250. Um, sticking with the statue for a moment, um, I can tell you guys that I don't like the base, as I've always said, I hate when they advertise what the name of the game is on the front. We can figure it out. We don't need you to tell us. That said, it looks like a pretty cool pose of Ellie. This is very famous scene from the trailer. Uh, the very first trailer we saw where Ellie's sitting there playing guitar and a ghost, maybe, or the actual Joel himself, we don't know quite yet, comes in and sits next to her. I believe in that trailer she's sitting on a bed. On this um, collector edition, based on the size of the base, they shrunk it down to more of a canvas kind of looking couch cushion. And you could see her with her head down playing guitar. She's got her hair over her face. This is an exact replica of that very famous trailer scene at the end where she's playing the guitar. You could see the tattoo on her right arm. She's got a lot of blood on her neck. Um, she's got her backpack, which we don't get to really see from this shot here, but that is the backpack she's wearing to her right. I like it. I went ahead and picked up the collector edition. Um, I did not pick up the Ellie edition because I do not have a record player, so that doesn't mean much to me. And I have so many backpacks and duffel bags and carrying cases now that I don't need another backpack. This is kind of a plain looking backpack. Um, I get it that they're going for a replica of the game, and that makes sense. However, I think they could have done some really cool branding with this. Think of the Sea of Thieves backpack that has a really cool skull on it where the backpack straps are very, you know, bright and like vibrant with decoration. This is a very plain, boring backpack. This wouldn't really stand out in a crowd to anything else. And unless you're a really diehard collector, you probably wouldn't even notice that this was related to The Last of Us. So to me, I think the Ellie edition is a bridge too far. It's a little bit more expensive than I think a lot of people want to pay. I'm sure it will sell out. There are super hardcore fans. I guarantee you the collector's edition will sell out. So if you want this, get, up, get online, pick it up. Best Buy right now, for whatever reason, um, is not showing it um, as um, uh, for sale. And it's basically their placeholder images. Um, they don't have the collector edition quite yet. I'm sure they will very, very soon. Um, and uh, Amazon will follow suit and GameStop and all these other places. So if you want to get it, keep an eye out. Follow Wario. He's the guy who's going to tell you when it goes live. Check it out. Pick it up. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I got one more for you. So stay tuned.